What's up guys, this is Evan and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own paracord survival bracelet just like the one inside your jar, turning this into this. So I absolutely love getting outdoors, it's one of my passions and at the moment I can't really get outdoors and I imagine that a lot of you guys can't get outdoors either. So I wanted to bring together my passions and of bring, being outdoors and bring it together and share it with you in a way that we can all do it together. And so this is a brilliant idea, making paracord survival bracelets. Let's get started. So all you're gonna need to make these bracelets are the cord inside our jar, box of matches, a tape measure or ruler, sharp knife or pair of scissors, and an item just like a nail, a thin pencil, a knitting needle. It needs to be something thin um, so that it doesn't shorten the length of the bracelet. So I found an old nail in my dad's toolbox. So the first step is to uncoil all your paracord so it's all like this. Next up, you wanna find the middle of the paracord by joining, joining the two ends like this and then running them through your hands to get to the end. Right, so now take your tape measure or ruler and put the end of it on this in the middle. You wanna measure along about seven and a half to eight inches. And then we are ready to tie it off and start weaving down. Okay, so you've got the rope in your hand and you have your seven and a half inches measured. So you wanna undo is take the left hand one Make a tiny little loop like this, so it's going underneath the two. Now take the right hand one and go behind this, just create a little loop over it. And then you want to pass this right hand cord through the left hand loop and pull tight uh, to create a knot that looks like that. You can just take your um, tape measure or ruler just to double check that uh, you still have the right length. So where your knot is, here, you take the end of the ruler, or tape measure, and just put it there, and then just run it along, just to check that it's the right length. So this is about eight inches, so I'm gonna just adjust it a little bit by loosening these knots off. So holding it here, and then just pushing on these two bits of rope, and then what you can do is you can just pull, see this bit, just pull down a bit on that, and then just tighten the knots. Just want to adjust it by a little bit so that it is the right length. So at this stage, it's probably quite helpful to have a table. So lay your piece of paracord out on the table with this bit facing towards you. And then lay your two piece, long pieces of cord like that to almost create like a T. So this is going to really help you and is a lot more simpler uh, way of weaving it. Okay, so you want to start by taking the right hand cord and putting it under almost like the leg of the T. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the left one, bring it under that right one, over the base, the leg of that T, and then through this loop. And just pull tight to create a wheel first weave that needs to look like that. If you find that uh, your weave doesn't look like that one, but it looks like this, then really do not worry. All you have to do is just undo this. It's a very simple mistake and one easy to rectify. So you're back to that little bit there. Right, now you want to bring in your nail, pencil, knit needle, whatever you're using. And these two little, like, bump, you want to just pull them up so you can make them a little bit bigger. And then you take your nail and you put it... So if you're looking at it like this, is it? put it in and then through and then you just hold it like this and then with this this bit here you just pull back or push with that, pull on your knot to make tight and you see if these holes were a bit too big then it adjusts the length of this. So that weave that we just did we want to do it again so this time what we're going to do is instead of putting the right one under we're going to put the left cord under the, the leg of that T and then you're going to put the right one under that um, left one and then the right one over the leg and through that left hand loop and pull tight creating another little weave. This time you put the right one under the leg, the left one under the right one over the top of that leg of that T and then through the loop, pull tight, creating another weave. So yeah, basically you just keep on doing that um, 
until all of these waves almost reach the end. And so every time you go the opposite one under first, then that one the opposite side, over, under, over, and through. So always remember it as under, under, over, through, pull tight. As you can see my weaves are now almost to the top so what you can do is just pop your finger through that hole and grab these top weaves and just pull down to give yourself a little bit extra um, weaving run and then just keep on weaving so I'm at the top now I've pulled it down a few times give myself all the room that I can so I've still got this just left this little hole here so what I'm gonna do is take my two long ends and I'm going to poke them through this hole, like this, poke them through the hole, get my finger come through, right, and then I'm just going to pull on them, and then I'm going to grab the bracelet like this, and I'm going to pull apart, and then just pull on these two, just tighten it all up. Now you want to remove whatever your, you know, nail, pencil, needle, whatever you've got. Just take that out and then the side, not where the side where the, the ropes went in, but the side where the ropes come out. You want to take each one and poke them through one of those two holes from where your nail came out of. Right, now what we need to do is tie a little stopper knot about here, about three inches up from the bracelet so that it adjusts and then it stops there and we'll slide back. Okay, so to tie this end stopper knot, what you want to do is about three inches up, so about here, you want to take the left piece of rope and make a little bend, bring it over. Right one needs to come under that left piece and through the left hole. Now, this piece of rope through the left hole and then this piece of rope back through the right hole and pull tight so it's still a little bit loose now you can see there's like two bunts so you've got the bottom bit of rope and the top bit of rope. bring the bottom one over to create the look like an x and then turn it over bring the bottom one over this one to make it look like an x and then pull tight sometimes you just got to push down like this bring it back over and bring the sides up a little bit just to, and then just make sure you pull tight and in the end you should have a stopper knot looking just like that. All right, all you're going to need for this next stage is the matches, the sharp knife or scissors, and the paracord bracelet. And this stage is probably best to be done outside, so just outside your door or in a bit of a garden, or anywhere like that. So you want to really carefully just cut the e these excess cord, just shy of the knot, just off, and get rid of them. So you're left just with your bracelet. So now if it's not too hot or you could or just to get a surface you can just push it down just to flatten that tip off this guys is the finished product we've finished it you've made your bracelet and you've done a blooming job good job doing it once you've finished making your bracelets i'd love to see them so if you'd like to please send me a photo but for now see ya